My name is Michael Orkubier, and today we're discussing about how would you like to buy Bitcoin at a steep discount, at 88% off. You probably saw some pages and exchanges have promotions up to a few percent discount when you purchase Bitcoin, but that's usually for large whales who are purchasing large amounts of Bitcoin already. But there was a particular exchange where they had an error and certain users were able to purchase Bitcoin at $6,000. And this happened earlier this week. <laughs> so as you can imagine, even with Bitcoin's dip, it didn't go below $44,000. And where it was around 46, 47, 48,000, people were able to purchase for $6,000. And this was the best case of arbitrage they've ever had. And now the exchange wants the money back. So let's roll the intro. All right, this happened in the Philippines of all places, not the wealthiest of countries. A Philippine crypto exchange, PDAX, they were selling Bitcoin at 300,000 Philippine pesos. That's around 6,000 US dollars. That was a discount of 88% to the price of Bitcoin at that time. And quite a few users were actually able to purchase this Bitcoin. And this isn't the first time that it's happened, not with PDAX, but with other exchanges as well. However, it usually wasn't more than half off. And in this case, 88%, that's quite a jump. The previous cases, Bitcoin would be a few thousand dollars below. And some whales would purchase hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of dollars. They'd send it off to another exchange and they profit the difference. And that's what happens in the stock market. That's what happens legally all the time. And it's usually a few percentage. And these people were prepared that when a lucky break like this happened before in the past, suddenly five, 10, 15% off of the current price of Bitcoin, they were able to purchase it before the exchanges usually caught wind of this. However, this is, this is just absolutely crazy. So obviously the Philippine Digital Asset Exchange or PDAX is not too pleased about it. The exchange has since locked out several of its clients from their accounts for good reason, and the traders are having none of it. They don't want to return the Bitcoin, and I kind of would have to agree with them. After almost 24 hours, they sent me a demand letter and SMS requesting me to transfer back the Bitcoin, or they may be compelled to take legal actions against me, said one trader. Rafael Padilla, a lawyer representing one of the PDAX users being asked to return the Bitcoin and locked out of their account, said, Our client's trade transaction was legitimate under applicable laws, decided cases, and of course, according to PDAX's very own terms and conditions slash user agreement. According to Padilla, PDAX has opted to lock users out of their accounts because it cannot unilaterally reverse the transactions. Once a Bitcoin transaction is sent, as you all know, there is no way to charge it back unless the other user decides to willfully send it back. The exchange began to suffer outages around February 16th, and it blamed it on unprecedented levels of trading and volatility. An official statement from PDAX Chief Executive Officer Nichelle Gaiba claims that up to 95% of accounts have been restored, but several users still remain locked out. So 5% of accounts? That's actually a fair amount. That could be hundreds or even thousands of individuals. On February 23rd, Gaiba told a virtual press conference that it's very understandable that a lot of users will feel upset they were able to buy what they thought an order was there for Bitcoin at very low prices. But unfortunately, the underlying Bitcoins were never in the possession of the exchange, so there's never really anything there to be bought or sold, unfortunately. Now, what's interesting, you might think that it's a small exchange that this happened to, but PDAX is one of the largest crypto exchanges in Southeast Asia, actually. The system error was not due to a hack, but it was a technical glitch. What's interesting is if you go to PDAX's own TOC terms and conditions, they say that orders are final and irreversible. And this is interesting because now the policies of the certain website in question are being used against themselves. So what do you think? In this case, should the users get to keep their Bitcoins? And let me interject my opinion. I don't think many people will send their Bitcoins back. Maybe a few people who feel guilty about it, but most people will be perfectly fine having their accounts locked out because they're just going to go to another exchange. And depending on how much money they've made, maybe they made hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars because it's such a steep discount. Even just one Bitcoin, currently it is $51,000. You have just, minus the transaction fees, minus all of this, who cares about that crap? Probably not going to see almost a 10x return, and probably it will be a 10x because we're probably gonna be north of $61,000 or $62,000 pretty soon. You're probably not gonna see that, 
if you were to invest in Bitcoin right now for at least the next few years. And it's sure eventually going to happen, but this is such a quick and easy way to make money. And I doubt it people are going to return something that they technically don't have to. Because of both the terms and service, it's a legal gray area and these users have already hired lawyers, so they're probably wealthy. And since this is not the US, where in the US, they would hunt you down. I don't think that they're going to have the power to track all of these individuals down. And even if they do, depending on how much is at stake, some of these users might have already left the country and they're just like, ah, whatever, screw this, because they just became millionaires, multi-millionaires due to a technical glitch. This isn't the first time it's happened before. And in the past, usually people got away with it, <laughs> not just with Bitcoin, with other cryptocurrencies as well. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm looking more into this and I'm not sure that all of the locked accounts took Bitcoin. What might have happened is some accounts that did take the Bitcoin were locked. Maybe some weren't locked and some accounts were locked by people who never got access to the Bitcoin because the exchange is in such a panic right now and there's chaos all over that there's people on Twitter uh, discussing like Mr. Caldero. Okay, I can't read that, but dear PDAX, until now our accounts cannot be accessed. Multiple promises broken. Aside from the Bitcoin issue, our money is trapped in your platform. This doesn't sound like a user and some of these other tweets, they don't sound like users who took Bitcoins. They sound like random people who were just unfortunately caught in this wave of freezing accounts. And this puts into question how much power can a centralized exchange in cryptocurrency have? And should we trust centralized exchanges? But then again, with DeFi and the problems with decentralization, if it gets too decentralized and there are actual problems and you can't reverse it, it really depends on the user. Obviously, there's some people who prefer the decentralized platforms and some will be for the centralized and some will be in the middle. So PDAX released a comprehensive report it claimed that an isolated, unfunded order infiltrated its system and affected the accounts of its users. It had been tracked down and the glitch was rectified and they're in the process of fully restoring hopefully all of these users' accounts, except probably the people who got away with it. The exchange assured its users that it'll continue addressing their concerns and rendering support if necessary. Obviously, a lot of people are upset, but some people got away with it. <laughs> and that's pretty crazy, man. What would you do with Bitcoin if you purchased it at 88% off? What would you do with anything if you purchased it 88% off? Of course, you'd sell it. And if you hold on to this, who knows that $6,000 might be worth $100,000 later this year. Short and sweet video today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment down your opinion below. That's super valuable. We're going to have an upcoming $300 plus giveaway. I've already made the video, but that's going to be scheduled later on this week. And if you haven't already, check out my cryptocurrency channel. Channel, my other channel links are in the description and have a good one bye